Hello, Hello listeners. This is the NPG Podcast. What's going on, everybody? Brian here with the Non-Playable Geeks Podcast, NPG for short. Episode number 31. I'm Brian. With me is Steven, voice of North Fortune. Word. And Matt, the Action Jackson. What's up? Okay. <laughs> What's up? What's up? All right, enough of that. <laughs> Going old Budweiser. Er, was that Budweiser? Yeah. yeah Bud. Budweiser. Okay. White. Bud. Wise. Wise. Er. Bud. Coors. The show is pretty simple, as you can see, overall. Every week we break down the podcast. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we go into our topics, with the fourth topic being whatever we feel like it being, or sometimes it can be your questions or comments that we uh, focus all the attention on. And on Friday, the full episode goes up. If we don't do the full episode, then we'll probably have an After Dark one to go instead. And After Dark is essentially us going, well, even more off the rails and more dirty, more explicit. Somehow. Tasty. Seeking a tasty, Matt. What's your yes. topic? Tasty topic? Mm-hmm. Um, so, I've been thinking a lot about uh, attention span lately. Hey, oh, by the way, um, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> 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 I was, I actually, I, there's something I do, I do want to do before you, guys, before you guys go into your topics. Just tell us yeah. real quick about what's been going on with you. Oh, uh, been playing No Man's Sky. Surprise, surprise. No. And, Moving um, on. <laughs> I have actually managed to watch a show, okay. um, two shows, but one slowly. That uh, Assassination Classroom, mm-hmm. and um, oh, it's great. It's yeah. a great show. Mm-hmm. Um, and Mob 100. Okay. Again, they're still pumping out new episodes. Mm-hmm. But other than that, uh, yeah, it's been mostly No Man's Sky nonstop. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with Matt. If you guys haven't heard, like, the last two episodes, I just like to bust Matt's balls about that game. They are thoroughly busted. Ugh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it so hard. Uh. <laughs> Go on with your topic. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, I've been thinking about attention span. <laughs> um, because, like, talking about watching shows... I, um, for some reason, I don't know why, I really want to watch Stargate again. But each episode is an hour long. Right. And, and I mean, not an hour, but you know, you got commercials. But, um, and there's 40 seasons with all of it, you know, I mean, not really 40, but Stargate, Stargate Atlantis, SGU, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just don't have the time to do it. And that makes me kind of sad. And, I was thinking about how back in the day, if a rerun came on TV, you'd be like, hell yeah, I'm going to watch this anyway because it's my favorite show. Simpsons? God, yes. Are you afraid of the dark? All the time. I didn't care if I had watched the episode 20 times before. I'd watch it again and be happy about it. Mm-hmm. Um, but you have a different generation out there now, and even our generation, and even some of Brian's generation... Um, Fuck you, Matt. Have- <laughs> <laughs> have uh kind of changed changed uh platforms like i was showing laura some of my favorite youtube videos and she had no idea i'd already seen all these and she goes oh you've already seen these well we don't have to watch it because i had already seen them mm-hmm. like it's a drag for me to have you watch this right but um, I knew, or to you yeah right right yeah and I know, like, my little sister, she was kind of the same way. If a rerun came on, she'd be like, oh, I've already seen it. Change the channel. Mm-hmm. So I'm wondering if it's, if it's what your guys' thought is about, like, is it just oversaturation of content? We have so many options now. We don't even have television as just an option. We go to YouTube and um, all sorts of different Internet stuff. Um, and what the future may hold for us. Well, I think, I to me, the general answer would be is that we're now spoiled. If we want to watch it, we can fucking find it. 
Whereas before, like, when I was growing up, as you would say, Matt, you know, if something came on TV and you missed it, too fucking bad. <laughs> and it's not Pretty like well. that. Yeah, you know, and it's not like that anymore. Like, if I want to see an episode of The Simpsons, I can go to, like, uh, what is it, FX, I guess now has it. Um, or FXX, I think. Um, F triple X. Mm-hmm. Or I could just go to their app, you know, because I'm already paying for the cable television or whatever and watch it that way. Um, there's not, it's just not, we don't, I think we just, we take it for granted because we can, uh, just because we now with it being digital and all that, it's just, it's always going to be there in some, in some way. Um, and I think that's really what it comes down to. I understand where you're coming from. And when I see something that I haven't seen in like years and years and years, I get excited and then I'll watch a couple of them. They'd be like, man, I want to watch more of these, but then I forget because I know it's there. Yeah. And it could come to oversaturation too. Like there's just a lot of good television on there now and we forget about the old one. Like what, what, what I run into with my daughter, salute your shorts. Hell yeah. On uh, Nickelodeon. Forgot all about that TV series until it came on. I remembered I hated this fucking show. You hated salute your shorts? I hated Camp salute Adawana? your shorts. Really? I hated, I, I liked Hey Dude better. I was more of a Hey Dude. Oh, guy. I liked Hey Dude too. Yeah. But you know what? I actually liked Hey Dude a lot less because I didn't, I wasn't old enough to really yeah. relate yeah. to those characters. Oh, okay. So once again, another old joke put in there. I, I, unintentionally. I, it's, it's, it's part um, joke, but it's part <laughs> serious too. Yeah. I have no idea I what remember, you're talking about. What? Weren't those filmed in Canada? Those were filmed in Canada. Okay. We don't know everything that goes on in the, <laughs> you in the have country. To. Yeah, we're not studio. all. We're not a hive mind over here, Matt. Do you understand this? <laughs> Join us. We're not all aware. I can't believe that. Um, but yeah, uh, our, Hey Dude was a was a Western kind of drama comedy, and uh-huh. Salute Your Shorts was a younger like camp com or uh, comedy drama kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I don't really know. What the hell those shows were about? I just remember like the theme songs perfectly, mm-hmm. and many of the characters' names. <laughs> we we know the songs, we just don't know the show. Camp Adawana, we hold you in our hearts, and when we think about you, makes me want to fart. <laughs> <laughs> I guess maybe uh, for you, Stephen, the equivalent to that would be like uh, you can't do that on television. Oh, okay, there you go. Now you're talking my language. Except for that was more of a sketch comedy show. These were actual, sh- you know, show shows. Um, but it was around, it, it was around, I'm not going to say around the time. It was in the, they were both in the 80s. Um, but, uh, no, I mean, to answer your question, I just think that we know, we now know that it's available in some form. Right? I mean, I can go back and watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original cartoon, whenever I want. I know I can. But you don't. So you think you think the access is part of it? Oh sure. Like if it only showed up once in a blue moon, like on a certain channel, you would make time yes. to go and see it. Yeah, and th- I mean that's what you did too. Like you know, growing up, I watched Perfect Strangers every Friday. Sometimes the world looks perfect. perfect. Nothing to rearrange. Sometimes, Sometimes you, you just. just Get a feeling like you need some, some kind of change. change. All right. So um, due, to, due to the distance <laughs> of Canada I, and uh, <laughs> the U.S., uh, you guys you guys aren't sinking. Uh, I know. That's what makes it horrible. That, 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 that's why I kept on going, just because there was that dissonance. Um, that tenacity is what makes me love you, Stephen. That's why you're my second favorite Stephen from Canada. <laughs> All right. Yeah, all right. No, but like that, that would come on every Friday, and if I missed it, guess what? I missed it. And most my parents didn't want to even fuck with taping it on VHS. They said it was such a pain in the ass. You mean Betamax? No, VHS. Fuck you, Steven. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just gonna be random FUs just for. <laughs> um, well, quote. yeah, I mean, wouldn't you? I mean, look at it like it just comes to there's no, there's no surprise anymore. There's no. Uh, looking forward to things like we used to, and that's that's a big thing of it too. Um, yeah, I mean you don't you don't stop what you're doing to run inside anymore. Like I used to do yeah. that for all that that right. show, all that. Mm-hmm. I, I would be like, all right, well, you know what, we were having fun playing Pogs and all that, but 
all that's actually on. So I got to run inside. So, yeah, it, we're spoiled. Like kids, you're, let me tell you a quick little story around the campfire. Follow Grandpa Doll into the abyss of what is called the past. He just grandpa. Yeah, we didn't have TVs portable in our pockets. Well, we had to use a rotary shadow phone, puppets. a rotary phone, where you had to stick your finger in a hole and not in a good way and bring it whoa, around. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, whoa, 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 Grandpa, let's just calm down there. No, but I mean, history. it doesn't need a family tree lesson here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, talk I'm, to the operator. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Cordless. Stick your finger in the hole phone. to get to the operator. Yep. Got it. Hands. And if you had a friend that had a bunch of nines in his phone number, <laughs> screw that. Not calling you. Like the rotary but yeah, and, and another thing about it though that kind of piqued my interest about this whole topic is, yeah, we're oversaturated and blah, blah, blah. That's fine. Um, but kind of back to what you were saying before about being able to watch these things. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll still binge watch Simpsons. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Fuck so, yeah. and it might be just because Simpsons are timeless and classic and no matter what, but I disagree because after season, what, 16, shit just started going south. I would have said yeah. season and, seven, but go ahead. <laughs> but, uh, I, I wonder if there's something nostalgic tied into it that makes me want to watch it again, but. I think it's different. I, know, I, I think it's different with shows like animated shows, like, well, maybe not just animated, but just 30 minute shows in general. The oversaturation nowadays comes in, in like the hour long format more than that's anything. That's a good point. And yeah, there's a lot of shit that power shows. Like if you look, if you look at CBS, NBC, uh, ABC, there's no, there's hardly any sitcoms left. They're all hour long, something or another. Um, for the most part, except for like the Big Bang Theory. Um, and a couple of other handful of things because everybody thinks now that you have to go to this hour long show model 13 episodes a year or, or whatever the case may be and it's kind of sad really i mean this the regular sitcoms kind of going away and um, so, do you actually have any hour long comedy shows ever no 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 they're all dramas and shit yeah that's what You're i'm right. saying and that's and that if you want if you look at those channel those basic you know channels now that's what they're geared towards law and order or chicago fire or you know, Lucifer, Vampire Diaries, Supernatural, Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy. Um, so yeah, I mean, that, it sucks. that new one, ER. Yeah, that, yeah. that one looks like it's gonna be yep. a blast. Lucifer we just got that one here in Canada. <laughs> oh, Stephen. Hey, Stephen, have you heard of that new show, Ghost Rider? <laughs> oh my God. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. These okay, children good. I get was a... hoping you said Ghost Rider, not Ghost Rider. I'm like, that's not no, a no, show. no, no, Rider. I Rider. fucking love that show, Ghost Rider. <laughs> that was incredible. Those gra- those graphics, man. That's like the best shit I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, you pain me. Um, <laughs> even as a kid, I was like, this is shit. Oh, I guess it was. It was terrible. Oh, uh, okay. Good times. <laughs> it's like PBS programming at its finest. Oh, but, um, PBS. So. So, and that, that brings me to my final part of this, which is, what do you see the future holding? My personal view is we're going to see a lot more of what um, Fuller House was. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean that in two senses. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of catering to the past, the adult generations who cater to them for their childhood right. tastes. Mm-hmm. So we're going to have... Um, Reboots, all sorts of reboots. Right. But I also reboot see it. Reboot. I got it. You know what? I'll accept it. I'll yeah, bend I over. Will. I'll bend over for it. Oh okay. hell yeah! Give it. Um. Again, remember I said, imagine like the Steve and I were talking about this, uh, an evil bad guy named Terabyte now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was that was they unthinkable to... back then. Well, Terabyte. Tony J is dead now too, so. And they ended the they ended the whole thing off with that very that that cliffhanger. We're like, well, prepare yourselves for the hunt. Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah. And then there's no hunt because he's dead. Yep. And you can't fucking replace Tony J. Nope. You just can't. Well, can. Maybe you could. Well, okay, you can't. You can't have a megabyte without him. If he was infected by Hexa. Hexa. All of a sudden. Yeah, but she's good now. Oh, yeah. that's right. Well, anyway, so that that that's one part of it, and the second part that Fuller House did was. What I'm noticing is a trend. 
Um, and again, catering to the spoiled needs, we've talked about this before, releasing 20 or an entire season now all at once. Right. That's the thing now. So I, I, the bin- yeah. Avengers. And I, I see that being the big thing yeah. because you're, you're not, you're not really feeling connected to whatever you're watching. If you're only watching the 30 minute episode, but you get super connected. If you spend all Saturday watching every goddamn episode, you yeah, remember that day things. when we just sat there and watched blah, blah, blah. All fucking day. Love that show. The fresher, <laughs> fresher prince of Bel <laughs> Oh god. The fresher <laughs> prince. <laughs> it's J- it's J- it's Jaden Smith in drag. Um. <laughs> oh my fucking god. That would be so. Remember awesome. watching Michael J. Fox when he took over Bob Ross's slot after he died? Oh. Come on now. <laughs> That's just uncalled for. Pictionary was so much fun with him. <laughs> Oh man, static is it static? It's static, static. Well, I mean, TV's just kind of doing what movies are already doing right now, anyway. Hey, yeah, that's pretty much it. But now, instead of just two hours of one thing, you can get thirteen, ten to thirteen hours, right? Depending. So yeah, it's probably going to trend the same way. I, I, <clears throat> not right now, but in the future. I mean, streaming. Is going to be the only way. Um, I don't think Blu-rays are going to last. I don't think DVD, well, DVD is definitely not going to last. Um, yeah, streaming is definitely the way to go. Yep. Or at least the way it's going to go. Right. And it, but it won't. It, it won't get like that though until you know internet speeds actually are what they can be and not what's limited by our government. And I mean us, uh, Americans, Stephen. I don't know about you. Um, it, it's like everywhere else is just so much faster until we until everywhere. Every area in America, at least, can get a decent speed going. Um, streaming won't, you know, won't be the uh, main thing. We have shitty speeds here. Okay, so there's that. Cool. That's you right. know, on on a sad note, uh, mm-hmm. Blockbuster is officially no more. Yep. I thought it already was. I oh no, there was some, one more. Wasn't they had there? Some, I just pulled it on. They had some fringes, and they also had those Blockbuster Expresses. Mm-hmm. Right. But their stock price... For the last Blockbuster. Yeah. Aww. Their stock price is now officially zero, zero, zero. Good put. Ah. Uh, shit! I bought a whole bunch of stock in them, too. Well, I mean, oh, it's with Canadian There's a, money, there's a okay. South Park episode Safe. where Stan's dad bought an old Blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> oh, that was good. Anyway. <laughs> moving on. Stephen. South Park did it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Steven? Um, real quickly, kind of finishing off on uh, Matt, you were talking okay. about um, like watching things over again, um, yeah. and I, I find it extremely difficult to pick up a new show, but I have no fucking problem booting up season two of The Simpsons and just going wild and just fucking leaving that shit on all day long. And it's just very, I don't know what it is. Very good just, point. That somebody did that to me today. Somebody said, "Oh, here. you would love this show." No, fuck off. I don't want it. <laughs> Like I tried to, I, I I took Brian's suggestion and I started watching the uh, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt yesterday, last night, and I watched one episode. I'm like, yeah, it's alright, I guess. So maybe I just need to give it more time. Right. Because because Tina Fey, fat fat fat, she wrote it, so you know she's all smart. Well, and shit. also too, I, like I mean, when has the first episode been the end That's all the be thing. all? You know. That's the thing. I mean, it it kind of had me. It kind of had me at the very beginning with the uh, the remix from the newscast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay, opening. all right. Yeah, they got me there. Okay, but yeah, it's just maybe it's just, you just need to give it more time. But I just like it was on a whim. I'm like, okay, I should probably try and watch this. I, I, and yeah, go. I think you're you're the reason why you're reluctant to do that is because you know what's involved when you find something you like. Same um, reason I can't finish American Horror Story. I'm just afraid of the commitment or fall right. Out. Fallout. Yeah. Fallout. I still haven't. I, I, I still haven't started Fallout. Oh yeah. <laughs> there oh you go. yeah. Good point. Yeah, because I, I just I I I don't want I just don't want to commit to something like that. Stranger Things was okay because it was eight episodes. You're done. I was, yeah, I was right okay now. Yeah. If, for now. If this if this was you know the year 2020 and Brian said you need to watch Stranger Things, there's five seasons for you to catch up on. Yeah, that would be a commitment. Right. But you're, no you're not gonna do it. But I'll isn't that? But isn't that the reason? 
Isn't that the reason, though, why Netflix does it all at once so you can move on to the next thing instead of having, yeah. you know, the backtrack? If, I mean, you still can, but, like, if I'm if Brandy's watching Orange is the New Black on Netflix and she finishes on a weekend, guess what? That That's new room for something else that, he, that Netflix is going to put out or... You're um, like, this show? Check out Wentworth. Yeah, exactly. Well, she watches that, too. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, that, oh watch Oz. Oh my god. Oz was good. Oz was Oz good. Was it was scary great. too. Um, but, you, you know what I mean? And I think that's part of the mentality of it now too, is why they, why they do it all at once. So that way you do have that, you have that room now for something else in your life, something new if you choose to. Yep. Cool. I mean, I, I don't, I don't have any kids. That I'm, not, I'm afraid of commitment. It's, you know. We know, man. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have much room in my but life. But you'll for commit to No Man's myself. Sky. Hey man, <laughs> No Man's Sky committed. I see to how me. it is. We used to talk to each other. Okay, anything else <laughs> <laughs> before Not I move it. on? Nope.